Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anissa, I am the crafty author, and today we're gonna do something really, really fun. I'm gonna turn the camera so you can see the supplies that you're gonna need, and then we're just gonna jump in and start. Okay, today to make today's project, we are going to be doing a port pillow, or in my case, a pacemaker pillow. So I'll be making this for my mom. So this is so that she can travel in the car comfortably and the seatbelt will not irritate where she had her, her uh, device put in. And so I'm hoping that this will really um, help her. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some fabric. I just got some fat, or not fat quarters, I'm sorry, a quarter yard of each print. I took her to Hobby Lobby and she chose this Winnie the Pooh print and also this really cool dinosaur print. Um, I got this Velcro. I picked this up off of Amazon. I will link to that in my Amazon store. You're gonna need some clips, some thread, uh, a rotary cutter, a cutting mat, you're gonna need some polyfill stuffing. Now I'm using a little bit of a, um, I'm gonna use a silky fiber fill for this, just so it's a little bit softer. Right, so for this pattern, I am going to be using a nine inch piece of fabric, so nine by five. So I'm going to cut my piece five inches wide, nine inches long. I need two pieces of that. And so I will just take my fabric and flip it over here. I'm gonna cut this selvage edge off right here. And to line that up, I'm gonna cut this piece off over here. And then I'm gonna cut one, two, three, four, five, right here. I'm gonna cut right there. And Okay, so now I can set this aside for another one if I need to. And then I'm going to flip these two, just like this, sideways. And then I'm going to measure nine inches. Just trying to get this so you can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll just cut this piece off here. And now we're, we've got our port pillow pieces ready to go. So the next thing that we're gonna do is separate these two. And we're gonna want these to be right sides facing each other, like so. But now we're ready to cut our Velcro. Okay. When you're cutting your Velcro, Velcro strips, I cut mine at three and a half. Again, it doesn't have to be exact, but you want it to be pretty close. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put this in the center here, like that. And then do the same on the bottom if I can ever get it to flip up. Now we're just gonna clip it. I'm gonna start up here where I have it marked off and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch. That's what I'm gonna do.
I'm going to take a couple back stitches. And then I'm just going to continue sewing down. get um, used a lot. And I don't want it to fall apart. right here just real quick this extra velcro on this side okay so I'm just gonna trim off these excess little velcro pieces here and then I will also just trim the corners now. And now we're ready to flip this open. I went ahead and clipped right here where I'm going to sew this to seal it up. And you could hand stitch this if you wanted to. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and machine sew it just because I find that to be a little bit quicker and, and easier. You could use matching thread or you can use white thread. Um, I think I'm just gonna stick with the white and that way you guys can see it. So I'm just gonna put my needle down here. And I'm just gonna start stitching it closed. Pacemaker port pillows are now done. This is what it looks like. See the cool little dinosaurs on there? Rawr. <laughs> and then this one is a really cute Winnie the Pooh print. Um, you can see that I stitched them up at the top there with the machine. Um, I love this batty or this uh, silky polyfill. However, it does kind of get on your fabric, so you do need to be conscious of that and you'll have to wipe it off, but it's not really that big of a deal. Um, here's what the back sides look like of these pillows. So you put this around your seat belt and then you can adjust where you want it to be for you. So um, these are, I mean, absolutely adorable. I would say all in all, it probably took me um about 10 minutes to make each one that was from start to finish cutting um everything i'll put the uh measurements down below in the description box i will also put these in on my blog these are for my mom for her pacemaker and i'm super excited to give them to her because i know that she is going to absolutely love these so um if you'd like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to share it, that's great because sharing is caring. And keep on crafting.
See you guys next time. Bye-bye.